Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, my name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer, and I'm here with a new unboxing today, because this arrived today uh, at my home, and uh, I want to show you this, uh, first of all, because it looks like a cool game, I love the box somehow, it's simplistic, but I really like it, and um, I'm proud enough to say that I can call the designer, Babis Giannis, my, uh, one of my uh, friends, so that's, uh, that's why I wanted to show you this as well. Uh, so this is Vampire the Masquerade Heritage, a game that will evolve, well it's a le legacy style game that evolved from 1306 all the way to 1997, so you're going to go through a couple of eras of uh, bloodlines. Now I am not a huge connoisseur of the Vampire the masquerade world i must admit i used i have played video game about uh, uh, with the team and besides that and that has been a long time and uh, besides that i don't know that much about it anyhow uh, this came separately in the box where it, that it came with these are uh, metal coins or tokens however you want to call them these already look pretty cool and i, I guess these are the clan tokens or uh, however they would be called and don't ask me which clan has which uh, symbol but uh, they're pretty cool all different uh, coins so that's pre already pretty cool these are the same so uh, they, they will probably be a kickstarter promo or something like that that you only get with a kickstarter I assume but still they're pretty cool Anyhow, let's go and uh, let's see. At, uh, let's take a look at the box. So this is fam the the box here, and at the back because this is a sleeve that's around the normal box. So maybe if you buy this uh, in retail in the future, uh, it might be the inner box only. So not the not the uh, white sleeve around it. Uh, let's see. Let's take off the plastic. Oh. I should have done this before filming and now let's take off the sleeve oh this is the back apparently so let's see so we have the same image but in black on this side so the designer Babis and Lucas Sigmund the artist and the publisher nice game games and there is the back of the box shape your legacy through 700 years of human and vampiric history it's a competitive campaign game of historic proportions. Take control of vampire, vampir vampiric conspiracies, shape bloodlines and form cutteries to dominate the shifting battlegrounds of the night. Will you ultimately prevail in the struggle of ages? Or will ancient rivals snatch victory from your fangs at the end of the millennium? There we go. If <laughs> elevate the chosen from mortal history. There we go. So that's uh, the look at this. Now, important to know, the designer of this game is a huge Vampire the Masquerade fan. And uh, so uh, he was very honored to be able to work on this a game like this and to be able to uh, publish it, of course. The rule book and uh, a cool look to it, right? How cool is that rule book? Now, I already read most of the rule book online. You can find it online as well. And um, I must say, uh, it looks cool, the rule book. There are a lot of, I'll probably have to learn while playing the first game, there is this um, there is this game that you can play, a uh, kind of an introductionary game, the prologue, uh, that probably shows the most of it. And somewhere here, I think somewhere here on the right is my name as well, as one of the many, many backers. All right, so the rule book. Uh, I don't have anything to say about this. This is just great. 35 pages and it looks awesome. A lot of pictures as you can see. Uh, that's super cool. Uh, that's the way it should be, right? There we go. The rule book. Then we go to the Chronicle booklet. This is where you will keep uh, score and, all, and track and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to... <laughs> show you too much because they might have spoilers I don't know I don't know yet these envelopes uh, are called the havens so every player will get one of these and you will place personal stuff in these and this is called your haven uh, how it exactly works I don't know yet uh, but yeah that's something here uh, these are uh, some artwork wow this is pretty cool I didn't know about this anymore uh, so artwork 
of the game and they're double sided so uh, you can always already see that this game has some awesome uh, artwork in it uh, dark of course it's a dark world uh, so uh, that makes perfect sense and they look a little bit creepy some sometimes uh, but sometimes they look more or less normal <coughs> more or less as you can see she looks pretty normal but she might be get bitten and turn into a vampire who and you might be the cause of it all right so these are player sheets uh you it's, it's not like it's a role-playing game but still you have a lot a, a set of skills and stuff and assets that you can get uh titles and that you will keep track of and uh well in your campaign at least so that's something all right so let's see now i won't be able to show you everything i guess because it's too much to start with and some things are secrets because of the legacy aspect we have a bunch of tokens here uh these uh, cool and uh, they probably have a name and i don't want to uh, say something very stupid uh let's see if it the wooden angs so okay i was going to say ang but i wasn't sure <laughs> so these wooden uh, angs in uh four different colors so they look pretty neat they have a uh, these golden uh look to it look at that Ooh, shiny all right so that's going to work on one of the boards that are in this game which uh, I haven't seen yet <laughs> uh, so let's see what else do we have here uh, these are stickers so don't look in these too much but these are all stickers that you can give uh, your uh, well the characters the players the, the the vampires I mean so that's something of course legacy stylish a bunch of these shiny gems Ooh, I love these things uh, I'm always it always feels like I'm really having uh, gems in my hand so these are um, cards these are um, expansions so I'm not sure how this will work in the future but this is the twisted fate expansion it adds a new level of personal horror to your copy of the game uh, each twisted soul is drawn by a powerful link to another character in your chronicle so there you go. Uh, so these are a couple of expansions that uh, I could get through the Kickstarter. Uh, Strands of Time, uh, more pages to the history of your copy of va uh, Vampire. Influential characters or figures bring prestige that echoes through the eras and new public schemes and stuff like that. So a bunch of new things as well. We have the Gentleman's Story. Uh, adds a suite of infamous kindred to your copy. There we go. Letters of introduction to the mysterious figures shaping the world of darkness. Ooh. So yeah, a lot of stuff. I think this is the box where you can put stuff. Uh, I should not open this because maybe it's not. I'm not allowed to open it. Uh, so I should be very, very careful by what I'm opening here. Um, let's see if I can find it immediately. No, not really. So I'm okay, I'm staying out of this one. So these are boards. These are. Uh, here underneath here we have some boards here this is the board where you will play uh, the the characters where the this is the main board so there will be schemes and characters here that you can well each round you have to or each turn you have to take one of the characters on this board here and it's pretty cool uh, good quality as well uh, I must say uh, very sturdy things here these are the other sideboards uh, or a couple of them because I believe they no these are the battleground boards yeah so and some of them have they are double sided so I guess each time you will play some different combination of them so that's pretty neat underneath here we have punch boards uh, let's see if I can grab take them oh there are some more battlefields I guess so look at this here we go and I believe I'm not sure but I think these will go on here but I'm not sure uh, there we go double-sided as well and there is more let's see if I can get this out there we go more of these double Ooh, nice all right so that's what you get as well and then a bunch of tokens here uh, I guess these are power tokens and infamy tokens the yellow ones uh, more of those uh, these are boons, if I'm not mistaken. These are exhaustion markers. Uh, 
and more and more I uh, don't remember all of them but these are assets for example Sultan's dagger plague carriers and all that stuff so a bunch of cardboard and um, I'm going to punch out one of them but they're very decent quality so uh, there we go a bunch of tokens so let me put this back in here for now right I think these are nine boxes here these are the different clans that you can play like you can choose off and I assume these are your starting cards so let's take out one at least um, so we have here I have no idea what the, what they all called the book tells you the book the book gives you an overview of every one of these um, also of the battle boards but also every clan is in here and the one that I just took out of the box is the La Sombra there we go and it has some explanation about it and maybe some all they all play a little bit different I can only assume and uh, let's see if I can open this quickly in order to show you some cards of the La Sombra and I might completely say the name completely wrong so there we go we have this is uh, the leader I guess the vampire leader or um, we have an uh, overview of what the of the asset effects so for every player and also the special effect of the La Sombra they have a special power I guess these are the starting cards for a well, part of them is starting cards um, card quality mm, qu kind of tin I must admit this is kind of tin but but there is uh, something special as well so it's not too bad that it's too tin it's not that bad and as I said these are nine different clans this is a box where I thought everything goes into what that you don't have room for uh, see the re oh, this no not the research deck so I think you put stuff in here different kinds of stuff uh, what am I looking for honestly this is the Chronicle deck so very important about the Chronicle deck it hasn't it, it shouldn't be shuffled and I I'm not going to show you this because I think these are cards that during the game during your campaign you can get in to your game uh, so that's very special and here we have the starter cards the the basic characters if I'm not mistaken in this box together with and that's why it's not too bad so and they're already so the starter characters here they are sleeved as you can see they're pre sleeved I look wow cool I love the back oh boy but they're sleeved and they have a back because they can turn into uh, a, well a vampire or a more powerful vampire and it all has its names but uh, I I already forgot the terms after reading the rule book for now uh, but they're all pre-sleeved so uh, in that case the quality is of less importance and you get a bunch of these sleeves as well if there are new cards if this deck gets bigger and for the cards of your uh, well your starter cards you can also well you have to sleeve them because it will be important they will change sides so uh, sometimes you have to flip a card in their sleeve so that's pretty cool uh, so as I already mentioned I'm not going to show you this here this is the last thing that I could show you uh, maybe I'm going to take a quick peek at this uh, yeah I'm not sure if I can show you this honestly uh, <laughs> I have to be careful these are oh these are battleground schemes for example arrogance of the powerful assign three power among op opponent clan leaders so I'm not sure what these do but you have these as well and uh, well so there's a lot of things going on and I'm curious I'm eager to play this I'm not sure when I will play this I'm not sure if I'm going to play this two player or wait for COVID to end and play this uh, with four players we'll see in the future anyhow this uh, folks uh, for you is a vampire the masquerade oh, my the box is too far vampire the masquerade heritage a legacy game unbox for you thank you for watching hope you liked it and uh, well see you next time folks thank you and see you soon bye bye